All right, let's take a look what's going on in the tropics. Tropical cyclone is not expected over the next 48 hours. But in the eastern Pacific here, an area of cloudiness and dust on showers and dust over the extent of several hundred miles offshore the coast of southern Mexico and Central America. An area of low pressure expected to be formed by this weekend in the region of the disturbed river south of the coast of Mexico, where conditions are very favorable for the system to become a tropical cyclone by early next week while it moves west northwestward. <coughs> Excuse me. Formation chance for 40 hours, low 10%, and formation chance for 5 days, high 60%. A few strong thunderstorms possible this after the potential answers. A few strong thunderstorms at highest risk areas east of Connecticut, Rhode Island, and southeast Massachusetts. A 4% chance from eastern Connecticut, much of Rhode Island, and southeast Massachusetts. Most likely between noon and 8 p.m. Actively, we hit or miss. Some spots may get it, some may not. So, oh. Possible impacts, very localized flooded, lightning strikes, and as a gusty winds. Their highest risk for a few strong thunderstorms this afternoon. Here. Okay, let's take a look. <laughs> On the deck here. It shows. A little beautiful, a little set of clouds that you need to tap. And a little hit a bit shower of tap. Okay. <coughs> okay. Let's take a look at our seven day forecast that goes like this. For tonight, we are gonna see sub. The Wright brothers started in a garage. Amazon started in a garage. Scattered. Clouds mostly cloudy skies with a low around 56 degrees. Northeast wind about 6 to 8 miles per hour. For Friday, set skies out there, 79 degrees. Northeast wind about 10 miles per hour. Friday night, clear sky low 40 degrees. Light variable wind coming in west about 5 miles by night after midnight. Saturday, South Carolina had 83 degrees, calm wind became in the southeast about 5 to 7 miles by the afternoon. Saturday night, most of the coast got low 58 degrees. Sunday, most of the South Carolina had 83 degrees. Saturday night, most of the coast got low 60 degrees. Monday, most of the South Carolina had 84 degrees. Monday night, Park Coast got low 64 degrees. And Tuesday, Park Coast got 84 degrees. Tuesday night, most of the coast got low 68 degrees. Wednesday, Church of Charles, Park Coast got 86 degrees. Church of Persuasion, 30%. Wednesday night, most of the guys got loaded 67 degrees for Thursday. Church of Shots, but the stats got higher 85 degrees. Peter is one of the of the day. A beautiful evening to happen. A beautiful switch of wet river on tap for this weekend, dear. All right, let's take a look at our traffic situation here. And look at this. Southeast Expressway. Bump the bumper. On the Stephon Strand from Mass Pike to Africa. Do it, And that way from Quincy all the way to that very tree split. And Brain Tree Split, but Southeast Expressway, North Bathside congestion from the Brain Tree Split, all the way down to the Dorchester, and Tiffany Hotel congestion on both sides, and Mass Pack Westbound, slow from the Brighton Tolls, all the way down to 128 and West End. <coughs> and after that, past that slowly, this year, good to go from Western all the way down to Sturbridge on both sides, and Mass Pack Westbound, and accident. An accident in Westboro and Bass Pike. So try to some extra job, okay? 128 low mile. A nightmarish commute from 128 south of Lexington all the way down through Norwood and stretching all the way down to the Bray Tree Split on both sides from 24 to the Bray Tree Split here. So try to have some extra time to do that area, okay? And he is hospitalized right now, and there's still no word on what caused that crash. And it's actually Route 128 northbound. As you approach Route 2 in Lexington, so try to solve some extra time over that area, and try to be hold some patience here. And 128 north, a little slow from Lexington all the way out to ready here. So try to have some extra time, okay? And 93 south. Slow from 20 to 128. 
It Wuber ninety three south slow from Bedford all the way down to Tippendale Tunnel and Route One North will slow around the Revere stretch here. And one twenty eight move out finally from Peabody to Gloucester except for a few slow spots of one twenty eight south around the Gloucester Rotary and Route One twenty seven to Gloucester to start to some extra time here. And ninety five move outside both sides from. One trade at Peabody to the New Hampshire border. 495 North. A little slow around Route 3 in Chelmsford and around the large stretch. <coughs> and 93 North from both sides from. One trade and ready to the New Hampshire border. But when you get to New Hampshire, you'll get some slowness around 93 North around Route 28 in South New Hampshire. So trust us some extra time in that area. Route 3 North, a little slow from Burlington all the way up to the North Berwick and Route 3 North. And three North Slow congestion from 495 and low all the way down for the low stretch here. And 495 is, is a little slow around 119 to 110 and a little 10. So, this is some real work, so try yourself some extra time to your that area here. 95 South, up and up, up, up from 120 and Westwood down to deposit exit in Norwood here. But all right, 95 is good to go from 120 to the Red Island border. And 24 is good to go from 128 to the Red Island border. 495 is good to go from Hopkinton to the Wareham, except for a few slow spots. 24 South, a little slow from 495 and Bridgewater down to Raydham stretch. <coughs> and 495 South, a little slow from 24 and Raydham Bridgewater all the way down near Middlebury here. We're getting reports. We got an accident on Route 24 North. After your past exit, to it's Route 79 in Berkeley, so try out two. Behold some patience, okay? And 195, we'll have five. 195, a little slow from exit four and 103 in Somerset all the way down to Bragg Bridge and Fall River here. <coughs> and 24, exit on rip. To, take a to Route 24 North and Fall River from exit Route 6, so try to be safe. Okay. And Route 3. A little slow from Break Tree Split all the way down. To exit 17 Union Street, exit Bernard. You're going to go from Route 3 from both sides from Sagmore to Weymouth here. And to that, uh, 146 stop. A little slow from that and couple of the North Smithfield. 95 backed up from 37 in Warwick down to the downtown Providence. Due to an accident on 95 North, you approach 195 in Providence here, and the 195 a little busier. And Route 6 10 connector on the east by side, so as you approach the Providence place, connected on Route 95 here. And 295 from Battleberry to Warwick, 146 could go from Millville to F Providence. 295 block 5 from Warwick to Adamer and Route 4 is moving out from East Greenwich to the North Kings at 13, a little slow round. North Kings at Bernard is going to go from <coughs> North <coughs> Kings at Newport and 140 South, a little slow as you approach Route 6 into Bedford and the Mod Bridge and then stop outside a little slow, but North Mod side is good to go. Suck more bridge and block five. And 25 block five. Where am you born? And 20 block five for board this spell up. And six is good to go from Sandwich to Orleans. Here. Good to pay Jay with your breath. Good day, everyone. Good positive. We'll be seeing you at 11. Have a good evening.